This is the installation video for Emerson's White Rogers 50D 50U843 Universal All Spark Intermittent Pilot Direct Spark Ignition Module from Emerson. All Spark is the first control that can be configured for either an intermittent pilot or a direct spark system with simple programming. The kit includes materials needed to replace or upgrade a non integrated spark ignition module and most 24 volt intermittent pilot or 24 volt direct spark ignition applications, including gas furnaces infrared heaters, tube heaters, package units, and cooking equipment. The box includes a 50D 50U843 ignition module with a vent damper jumper plug and local flame sense jumper wire pre-installed, 11-pin harness assembly, fault code label, installation accessories, and instructions for easy installation. First, ensure power and gas are disconnected prior to servicing the unit. Remove the access panel. Check the part number on the existing control and verify it as one of the 800 plus modules that can be replaced with the 50D 50U843. Use the cross reference on the side of the carton or the White Rogers mobile app. Take a picture of the existing module for reference before removing any wires. Identify the existing wiring and take note of the terminal identifiers on the existing module. Remove the spark wire. Locate the 11-pin harness assembly. In some application, the existing wiring has 3 16-inch Quick Connect terminals. To accommodate those, cut off the existing quarter-inch Quick Connect terminals, strip the wire, and install the supplied 3 16-inch terminals. The installation instructions come with a diagram showing wiring connections for both an intermittent pilot system and a direct spark system. For this application, the intermittent pilot diagram will be used. Individually disconnect and transfer each wire from the existing control and connect it to the appropriate Quick Connect terminal on the 50D 50U 843 11-pin harness or dedicated spade terminal on the printed circuit board. Note in the instructions when a module does not use both the 24-volt and THW terminals, install the 24-volt wire on the harness wire labeled THW. Connect the MV to MV. MVPV to MVPVCOM, PV to PV, GND to BRN GND, 24 volt GND to 24 volt COM, 24 volt to 24 volt, and finally THW to THW. Once all wires have been transferred, remove the existing module. Take note if there is a ground wire attached to one of the mounting screws. The module can be configured by two different methods. Mobile app configuration is the preferred method and can be done prior to installing the module. Onboard configuration can be done after the module has been installed and powered up. To configure using the mobile app method, go to your mobile device's app store, search for White Rogers Connect and download the app. Once downloaded, open the app. The home page has a Connect to Control button and Watch Tutorial Video button. Select the Connect to Control button. The screen will show Ready to Scan. Place the mobile device in contact with the NFC logo on the module. A check mark will appear showing the connection was successful. The app will then display the 50D 50U843 settings configuration screen. First, choose whether the module being replaced is an intermittent pilot or a direct spark ignition system. Table 1 on page 3 of the installation instructions show configuration options. It is divided into two sections. The first section shows configuration options for an intermittent pilot system and the second section for a direct spark system. Settings can be adjusted to match the existing module. For this application, the factory default matches the existing S8610U control. No changes are needed. If any changes are made, they must be uploaded to the module. Select the Update Control button and again hold the mobile device near the NFC logo. A check mark will display showing the update was successful. The 50D 50U843 is now ready to be installed. The module can be mounted in any orientation. Select a location that will not damage, obstruct, or place stress on the terminations or harness. Ensure there is a clearance of a quarter inch between the sides of the control and the grounded metal. There are four mounting holes located toward the corners of the module. Utilize the two that match the existing module. 
Mount the 50D-50U843 in the unit using the mounting holes and supplied screws. For this application, there is a ground wire that needs to be installed. Be sure not to damage any components such as transformers, wire harnesses, or blower wheels when drilling or installing screws. For applications using a vent damper, remove the vent damper jumper plug and install the unit connector. In applications using a remote flame sensor, remove the flame sense jumper and plug the flame sense wire into the sense terminal. For this application, no damper or remote flame sense is used. The vent damper jumper plug and local flame sense jumper wire can be left on the control. Plug the 11 pin harness into the module. Check to make sure the wires are securely connected to the harness. There are two connections to attach the spark wire, a Raja plug and a one quarter inch spade terminal. In some instances, a module with a spike or nail type spark connector is being replaced. For these applications, install the 14 to 16 gauge quarter inch female quick connect spade. Use the provided shrink wrap sleeve to prevent the spark from escaping from between the wire and the adapter connection. For this application, the one quarter inch spade is used. Remove the lower gray cap and plug in the spark wire. This control also features a Bluetooth connector, an air temperature sensor connector, replaceable fuse, a 120 or 240 volt inducer motor input and output, and a 24 volt alarm output. The system is now ready to be powered on. Reconnect the electric power and gas to the unit and make sure the door switch is engaged. During power up, the three digital LEDs will each display an 8. Once ready, the control will enter the standby mode and the LEDs will display an uppercase O and a lowercase n, indicating the unit has been powered on. In 2022, all Spark will be compatible with applications using a built in thermostat by using the three digital LEDs. The first two LEDs will display the sensor temperature, and the third LED will display the configured unit of measure, either Fahrenheit or Celsius. If configuration was not completed using the White Rogers Connect mobile app, it can now be set up using the Option and Select buttons and the LED display. To enter configuration, press the Option button while the unit is in standby. For applications that have power only to THW, there is no standby mode. To enter the configuration mode, Hold the Option button for 3 seconds while simultaneously supplying 24 volt to THW. Table 1 on page 3 of the installation instructions show configuration options. It is divided into two sections. The first section shows configuration options for an intermittent pilot system and the second section for a direct spark system. For this application, the factory preset configuration already matches the settings of the existing module. To verify proper ignition, make a call for heat. The LEDs will display the status of operation. For this intermittent pilot application, it will first display the letters T, F, and I, indicating it is in a trial for ignition period. After the flame is active, the LEDs will display the letters H and T, when a weak flame is sensed during operation, the LEDs will toggle between the letters H, T, and FLO, indicating the flame probe needs checked. The 50D-50U843 comes with flame current test pins. These pins are easy to access and provide the flame current reading. To test the flame current, set a voltmeter to DC volts and measure across the pins while a flame is present on the sensor probe. One volt DC equals one microamp. The three digital LEDs convey system status and active fault codes. If any errors occur during a cycle, a fault code will indicate the error. For an active error condition, the LEDs will display an E followed by two numbers. The module is displaying error E02. The fault code label indicates no flame during a trial for ignition. Up to five fault codes can be stored in the sequence they occurred. Fault code errors can be recalled through the White Rogers Connect mobile app. Open the app and select the Connect to Control button. Place the mobile device near the NFC logo on the module and wait until a check mark appears showing the connection was successful. The app will then display the module's settings configuration page. To see any errors, select the Diagnostics tab. Errors will be listed with the most current at the top. For detailed information and troubleshooting tips, select the I by the fault. To clear errors in the app, tap the Clear Error History button 
place the device in contact with the NFC logo on the module and wait for the check mark to appear. This action can be performed whether the module is powered on or powered off. Fault codes can be accessed on the module anytime the module is powered. Press the Option and Select buttons for 2 to 5 seconds. If there are no errors, the display will read ENO. To clear errors using the module, hold Option and Select together for 5 to 10 seconds. This action can be performed whenever the control is powered on. Additional White Rogers Connect app features include system status and information about the module. The status tab shows the 24 volts DC and the 24 volts AC voltage level, the fuse status, and other status data applicable to the module. If at any time there are issues that require external support, White Rogers Connect comes equipped with an About tab that shows product information, the White Rogers customer service contact number, and helpful quick links to installation resources and information. Install the included fault code label in a clearly visible location to assist with future service calls. Reinstall the access panels. The 50D50U843 is available wherever White Rogers products are sold. For 24-volt intermittent pilot or 24-volt direct spark ignition applications, be sure to stock the 50D50U843 All-Spark 24-Volt Non-Integrated Spark Ignition Module. Service of HVAC equipment should only be performed by a licensed and properly trained technician. Failing to follow all applicable standards of operation and maintenance, including applicable codes and manuals, can result in potential hazards, including, but not limited to, electrocution and fire. Thanks for watching the White Rogers All Spark Universal Intermittent Pilot Direct Spark Ignition Module Installation Video. For more information, visit emerson.com slash 50D50U-843.